I was just saying, like, I look forward to ski season mm -hmm. all year. And I tore my ACL, obviously, and can't ski because that's, like, everyone tears their ACL skiing. <laughs> and I kind of just decided as long as I play football, like, I'm not going to ski because it. it's not worth it. Yeah. So, I mean, it sucks, but. Business decision. Yeah. Business. It's just such a grueling rehab. Like, I couldn't see myself doing this again. Yeah. You know, it's, it's terrible. Especially if it's, like, self-inflicted like mm -hmm. that. You know, I'd be like. Well, you know, you have your blue self-inflicted wounds. <laughs> that's the one. Like, literally, it was like, I, all I heard was it wasn't a torn ACL, and I was like, all right, I don't care. Yeah, because that's, oh, that's yeah. your I was literally 10 months else, of your yeah. life. Yeah. It like, consumes yeah. 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 All, Done. Yeah. Yeah. Done. And I don't have a full, you know, so much pain. the staff around me to make sure, I'm like, that's right. You're you know, going Round the clock own, service. Yeah, this is different now. How long did it take you to figure out everything that was injured? From the injury to the day that you're like, okay, this oh, is what's yeah. up. I know everything. Yeah, How does it hurt? So you get hurt. I got time. hurt. Yeah, I got I hurt. Say what happened too. People don't know what happened. No, <laughs> like, can't yeah, leave us in the dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so James <laughs> is over <laughs> here. <laughs> you know, save as much of the detail as you can. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was someone just, just got pushed into you. Some stuff happened. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so someone, someone got pushed. Yeah, someone got pushed into you. Yeah, it's fine. So. That happens, and I go to the ER. <laughs> that? I that someone happens, happens. Like someone fell somebody. into my leg. Someone falls right? into your leg. He had it coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, go to the ER that night, uh -huh. and from that point on, it took, it, which they resulted to nothing. They were just the like, ER here was some like, oh, yeah, you are hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Here are crutches. <laughs> we will send you a bill. For, for 250, yeah. yeah, yeah, just for crutches. Well, you're gonna get the generic care though. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You don't have, you know, the no, trainer yeah, yeah. that knows no, I, you. Yeah, yeah literally. So I'm like, this is the most absurd thing ever. And then it took, from that point on, I had to go through four visits just so I can get someone to say, oh, you need to see a knee specialist after I'm screaming at them. I don't even want to show up. And they charge you for all like, those oh, yeah, I'm gonna charge you every time. Googling? You know, I so, like, uh, my knee hurts. Oh, uh, no, no. Like, Hold on. I know, I know, I know, the ACL before. Yeah, I know, I know all the hot keys, man. I'm telling you. I'm like, let's save this visit. I'm, I, and now I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing the in-persons and I'm doing the phones. Yeah. Like, come on. Someone just, just schedule my MRI. Sorry. You know, I know this is a headache. You know, we're going to have to get you through the process. So how does that feel scheduling your own MRI? Cause yeah. you know it's easy when you're in college, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. The and that's the first day. Oh, yeah. If you on the field of them the same day, yeah. No, you I would have known. I would have like, an hour later. Yeah, yeah, literally, literally, like, literally. Before and you went to schedule my MRI, I called right in the morning. My first phone call of the morning, and they're like, "All right, we can get you an MRI in two and a half weeks." And I'm like, "You're, I'm at." No. <laughs> so I hang up. It's so a call, and every like the way that like the medical system for Kaiser is just a headache, but. I end up, I called the LA, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna see what Orange County's got. Called Orange County. Yeah, that's gonna be three weeks. Okay, yeah, I'm going back to LA. Four weeks. Man. I was a third call. I just, back and forth, just in that, that 25 minute turnaround, I lost <laughs> two and a half weeks. Did you call OC back? Yeah, I called OC back. No, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll take the three, please. <laughs> I got, I, I got thrown on that, so I mean, jeez, it was a four-week process. And then, oh, and that's another thing. Sorry, I just want to know my results. That'll be seven days. Sheesh. That's insane. Yeah, I don't know. They're available now. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, it's if radio just has to, yeah. just someone read it. Who yeah. cares? Like, like, like I've been here before. Like, yeah. I know it's yeah. readily yeah. available. I know. <laughs> no, I know you can no, tell yeah. me who's going on. Just send me the radiology report. Yeah, I'll literally. Myself. She told me, sorry, that's not how it works. They are generally available five to seven days after. And you're I'm like, like no, no, you're no, a they're, liar. They're, they're, they're available. You're right now. You're lying to me. Oh my gosh, it was so painful. That was more painful. I'm not going to say that. But the process is so painful. Oh, painful, man. Man. Yeah. That makes you yeah. appreciate, like, you oh, know, I appreciate it. I, I, I've, I've been, been talking happy. to Maya yeah. this whole yeah. time. I've been yeah. in Maya's pocket. Just yeah. like, none of the doctors are going to help me. I need, Dude, I got more help from her. It would have been cheaper text. if you flew to Nashville, Nashville, had them do the ACL test, yeah. and they oh. tell you right on the spot. Yeah. Literally, another part. The, the doctor. I told the doctor, I don't want to see you if you can't do the ACL test. Oh, no, I, I, I can do it. Okay, Question? do it. Uh, mm, does the other leg. Ah. I can't tell. <laughs> it's, not, it's so easy to tell. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, you it's know. It's so easy to tell. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's tough. That, that makes you appreciate it, though, you yeah. know? We were kind of living in a bubble. Really? Really? It's know? a different world outside it really of is. sports. It really is. Like, you got to schedule. You know? They make yeah. everything so easy for you. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no, just show up, and everything else is all good. Just tell me where to go. Every appointment you need, dentist, anything you can think every, of. Every oh, appointment. Okay. Five o'clock today, just go there. Oh, you don't have a ride? We'll order the we'll yeah. You yeah. could call the doctor up yourself. Or I'd be like, can yeah. I see you tomorrow Justin morning? To yeah. And the doctor will text you back like, yeah, no worries. Like, you'll pull up at like eight. Yeah. In a normal system, you'd have to wait two weeks for Anything. an appointment. You have a little cold. Oh, we'll hit, we'll hit you with the IV bag. That's what yeah. we do out here. It's sick. It's insane. I we had players get hit with the IV <laughs> look, bag. Look, we didn't. We had a couple of women get hit with the IV bag at halftime during some games this year. Yeah. Look, they were dehydrated during the I don't the know games. about that one. They had it in the locker room, like pumping into someone's arm. I was That's like, different money. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get those. Yeah. No, the resource is a little different at the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, same idea, though. Like, post football, I'm not looking forward to that experience. Not finding your IV bag? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do I make an appointment? <laughs> I'm just calling the trainers here. Like, yeah. Sir, you graduated five years ago. Yeah, not happening. But usually they'll help you out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. if, if you're, you're cool with, with, with general like, information. Like, you're cool with Maya, like, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because, she's, she's yeah. 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 you know, you've built the relationship the over homies. time. Yeah, yeah. If it's, like, mm-hmm. a, an injury like that, I would for sure call him. Yeah. I just wouldn't call, like, Boz or anything like that. I'd call, like, <laughs> Justin, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, like, Carrie. Oh, my God. Shout out to Boz. No, nah, but you know he's the head guy. So yeah, nah. he's busy. Yeah. And, and if you so live in the area too, you just pop in, like you know. Yeah, because I there. would get treatment uh, when I ended up getting weighed from the Titans. I would be at Vanderbilt working out, oh, you and do, I'd yeah. get treatment. Oh, yeah. Weight rooms open. There's guys, like, yeah, guys open, 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 treatment and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, great. So, yeah, they they show a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. So, cool. yeah I can't imagine you know. Pointing Salt on the wound. Yeah, you know. Sorry. The very first commercial I see from Kaiser is is an example of a guy that rolled his ankle playing basketball and he's like wow kaiser treats me like an athlete i got this done in five days you should have showed him the commercial you said, no i literally i was treatment? i will sue like this is absurd. where's my treatment yeah false advertising this yeah at its absurd. finest kaiser look out yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I thought Kaiser was, was like the uh, best though. It is. And I love it. Like, that's why I chose to go that route. And I, it's just that the process. Man. But they just treat everyone like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, uh, kinda, I've had a lot do, of this. Yeah. I, I, I have You've so much before. wrong with me. I know kind of how this process works. Kind of know. I was in the hospital for like a week. Vandy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Penicitis. And I come back in. Oh, dude. Don't even get me started. <laughs> come back in. We got to lose started. Started. <laughs> A couple, you know, like a couple years later, and I'm telling them, oh, I sold my appendix in, but I had appendicitis, and they're like, not possible. I'm like, look, guys, I understand. No, you're wrong. It's not, it's not that. It can't be that. And then they're like, they had to have removed it. And I'm like, I understand, but I'm a special case. <laughs> it didn't have... And I'm going through it, and they just look at me like I'm ridiculous. And then, you know, I'm in the hot. It took me 18 hours to actually get someone to actually look at my appendix. Uh. Wait, so speaking of, like, special care for athletes in a medical sense, I want you to give your uh, appendix story. <laughs> Are okay. you allowed to? Please, I, yeah. please, uh, please. Can you legally? Do you know, it? Do you know, what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Please, tell me, tell me. Oh, God. Do you know what happened or not? I, I don't. Dude, so I need to know. This is actually insane. Oh. Like the context, right? So like we, we play uh, Georgia. That's the one game Georgia, we play. Georgia, homecoming. Big deal. Big. Huge deal. Big. And in you, Athens. Get, you get appendicitis, in right? Athens. Yeah. Walk in. Uh, my stomach hurts. Don't know what's going on. Maya. And immediately, which again, biggest difference from sports. I mean, mm-hmm. press. We need to go. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Go to the hospital, which now after going through this, I'm so appreciative because mm-hmm. that process maybe took three hours, which felt like eternity, and I was begging Maya to kill me. Literally begging her. I was done. I was done with it. I was like, just end me now. It was that painful? Oh, dude. I mean. That's how I felt about I, my, my leg. My, not the ACL. The compartment syndrome? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just wanted the pain to stop. That's how bad it was. Yeah. I was like, knocking me out. Like, if, Bro, you came in my room at like three in the morning. Yeah. I thought there was a ghost in my room or some. Cause so like, OJ, well, this is a different story, <laughs> but we'll finish one, we'll get to the other. Uh, so we're getting excited. They finally <laughs> put me in a bed, and they're like, "All right, you're scheduled uh, for surgery in uh, in an hour." And I'm like, "All right, great." And then doctor leaves, 
literally two minutes later, someone walks by. Hey, uh, I heard you uh, have appendicitis. You should ask him about this program. And we're, you know, we're like, what are you talking what? about? They're like, that's all I can say, but you have to say this word, and they'll know what we're talking about. And then left. What word was it? I don't remember. I was, dude, I was on so many drugs. I was on, uh, like, like, a, code, was no, 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 it a code word? Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, just pop I'm literally in and out of it. I'm on morphine, I'm on all this you. stuff. <laughs> so, comes in. Yeah. Doctor comes back in, says, "All right, you're all set. We got you scheduled. We're, we're gonna, we're about to take you." And you so said, you didn't say the says, word. No, Maya Rose. says it, uh. and then she, he just stares. He's like, "How do you know about that?" What? And he's like, "You're you not supposed to know about that." How do you that. know about that? Yeah, yeah. And then so, yeah. And so they have a side little convo going on. Another doctor and was like, "Yeah, it was like you know someone wearing like the brown coat." And he's like, "No one's allowed in here except Jeez. me." And he's like, "There's no one there." Yeah, so it's some weird shit. And so you couldn't have saw a ghost if Maya knew about it. No, no, Maya was the one that was speaking for me. And so Maya saw the ghost too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the doctor ends up like, okay. Was the well, guy that told you this dressed in stuff from the 1940s? Funny shot. <laughs> yeah, huge plus sign. About yeah, like. <laughs> yeah, the witch doctor. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, it was freak- It was weird. It was a very weird okay, thing. Okay, so anyway, looking at us, like, how, how, how do you know? Possible? And anyway, so they kind of explain like, look, this is not allowed in the U.S. at all. Was um, the guy that told you a foreigner? By the looks of it, like, was it like a yeah, Chinese guy, it? like a Russian Dude, looking guy? I was on so much drugs. I don't yeah. know. I, I was literally, I was just so happy okay. to like actually. So the doctor not said, "We can't pain. legally perform this operation yeah, on and you." So he's like, and you, you said have just to a- sign." And then Boz walks in. And, and he's had appendicitis too. So he's like, this is the first time I'm ever hearing about this. Like, how is this possible? And if we can possibly, because he's like, all right, the surgery, you're going to be out for, it's going to be quick, two weeks, four weeks. Well, it essentially meant, all for, mm-hmm. no, he said, you're out for the season. Sheesh. With surgery. Because surgery, you'd be you back wanna, as a normal person yeah. in two weeks. But with the as risk of hernia, yeah. uh-huh. you have to have four weeks outside of that just so you can start, like, lifting and everything. Yeah. So. I was like, well, that's my season. And they wouldn't want you yeah. to bust open the... Yeah. yeah. So he's like, if we do it this route, like, it's off the books. And but you can play right away. We have, yeah, we have to but do it downstairs. You play right away. But I'm, like, always in and out of, like, doctors checking me for, like, any little thing. Because mm-hmm. they've, they've just never done this before. And... Uh, never done this before. Yeah. Well, this was the first here, time yeah. here. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 I've heard this operation before, but I've heard it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I just told him I came here to play. So like, that's it. Like, yeah, I, we'll I'm not it. doing surgery. Like, whatever, whatever. I don't care. And we'll what exactly did, did they do? I don't know. I mean, was it an injection? It was. was it a pill? I, yeah, I was on. I was on a drip for so like three so days. So how do you feel about that decision then? Because at the time you Good made decision. it because you oh, came I, I, oh. to play football. Oh, right? you know, the greatest part is every doctor comes back. You're the success story. Like now they do it. No, because you know. Wait, that's crazy. Yeah. Wait, so what is it? Now you must now know what it is. No, nah, it's. I have to look into it. Some European <laughs> thing. Dude, I don't know. And yeah. it's now a thing. <laughs> no, it's like an option for just the, the athletes. Oh, just oh, that's right. Is it like they will not allow? They will the like, It's something? only yeah. It's well. No. So why do they? Well, yeah, because if it bursts, it. you can die. So why would they just? It allow just gives the athletes a, the option to continue playing. So is that not crazy though, how we make medical decisions like, like that? that? Yeah, no. Just to be able to play? And then he's play. like, you might have a scary down the line and if you do, like, we don't know how that's going to Like you're really. making life changing decisions of just to finish this a decision. because of the appendix? Yeah. Because of the appendix. Because of not So it can, it, it could just burst at any point. Yeah. Which is why I was you saying, I, I, I had a <laughs> rush to the hospital time, and I'm like, this is, uh, this is the same thing. I'm feeling it again. I mean, I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like, this is serious. Yeah. I'm getting everyone an 18 hour process. I remember that. Just for someone to look. I mean, that was last year. That was last yeah, year. You guys saw me. Dude, you were sweating. I'm, yes. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> sitting there working, and I come out my room. I'm like, we're like, Dude, Lou, are you okay? Drenched. Drenched. No. I need to go. The Jimmy Butler, that was the Jimmy Butler hands on the knees. <laughs> dripping. <laughs> you could just I remember this. Dripping. Dripping sweat. Yeah, yeah, there was. Yeah, it was dripping. And, and agonizing pain. And I was and like, then, I uh, yeah, go. we had to drive you straight to the hospital. Yeah. But it wasn't the appendix. It was yeah. some other. Yeah. But that was the thing. It's so, like, so, so since I did that, like, now it can be. It's, it's a whole thing. Yeah, I don't really know. But that was a business decision. <laughs> so now you're just forever. 
I mean, like, now everyone's like, dude, just get it taken and out. But I'm like, dude. Get it taken out? Yeah. Man. Oh, really? Well, I had appendicitis. Oh, you were appendicitis. So, oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant they put something inside you. Something at some point, you, know, you have to get it taken out. Maybe. But it bought me time, so. I don't know why. It reminds me of Deadpool. <laughs> so it wasn't worth it. It does. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 was, it, it was worth it. Like, I would say it like was car. worth it. And okay. to anyone else that's thinking about it, just say the magic word. And yeah, you the magic word. word. Yeah. The doc, uh, dude, you have to see the witch doctor. If anyone else is the thinking about doctor. it. Yeah. <laughs> Not the witch doctor. I hope they get lucky and a ghost walks past them and tells them which word to use. <laughs> So what was the word? I want to figure out what. The no, word I literally was. don't, know. dude. I mean, yeah, you're not processing information when you're under that much pain. Literally, the only thing I cared about, they gave me the morphine, and doctor walked away and came back, and I'm like, dude, when are you gonna hit me with this morphine? I need it. And he was like, dude, we just gave you a full dose. Gave me a second, and I was like, I'm still in so much pain. Gave me some other one. And so, like, I'm on three different, like, or I'm on a double dose of morphine and then on some other opioid, and I'm just like. That's how it is. You're just like, give me whatever. Yeah, 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 literally, I, I, nothing mattered. You are right, the turnaround is fine. I, I, I was serious when I was begging to die. I did not care. Yeah. yeah. I but you were, like, you were how, like that how, with like, the compartment. Hey, you were like that. that with the compartment syndrome stuff. Yeah. If someone said, like, all right, we'll make the pain stop, but, like, we have to kill you right now, like, I, I, I <laughs> oh, might have actually considered it. Man. Like, like, I was, I was, there was, was like, bad. tears coming down. Like, I was, I was to the point where, like, I was talking to myself, like, well, I was, I was seeing things. In the I evening. Was, like, I was in a very dark place. Man. In the evening, you was in pain. <laughs> and then you needed to borrow some drugs off me in the evening, because I just got surgery. Yeah. Because my yeah. fibula snapped in half. And then you. Which is the worst thing you which can was, do for yeah. compartment syndrome. Like, you need emergency surgery right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's the only thing that exists like that in sports that needs besides I guess appendicitis, but like, <laughs> but like that's or not whatever, sports injury, right? whatever that, that's just like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, right? exactly, yeah. Uh, so but like as far as sports go, it's the only emergency <laughs> surgery. And so like the longer you delay, the more you risk uh, like necrosis mm-hmm. and having to amputate your leg, yeah. which is exactly what I did. <laughs> delay it. So I took uh, the Percocets that OJ had. Well, you took them in the not evening, the well, so you could like, go to sleep. Because he slept. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, but yeah, until like two in the morning, it gave me a heart attack. I'm yeah. sleeping in bed thinking this is cool, mm-hmm. and he just hobbles through on the ground. This dark figure is on the ground and just touches my arms like OJ. And I was like, bro, I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, what the, what's Who going took on? you though? Did you? Yeah, yeah. you took I me. I took you. Yeah, you took me right. to the hospital. Like he said, uh, shut me up. We, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what it was though. <laughs> no, no, was no, yeah. Like I practiced, I finished practice. I got yeah. hit in my leg. I was completely fine. I get home. I remember vividly telling Lewis, uh, watch this be like something stupid, like compartment syndrome. He literally as, calls as it. As a joke. Um, because I knew thing. how bad that would be. Like imagine, like just, you're just saying like, absolute worst, worst case, case scenario, scenario yeah. right? Totally joking. It ends up being bad. No. <laughs> And Which when I dropped him off, he's doing a single leg hop. Refuses to let the leg touch the ground at all. No crutches or anything. Single leg hops all the um, way down. Took him as far as I could and then freaking just hopped it all the way Look out. at you being a hero. Yeah. So oh, I, so I get to the training room. Uh, our head guy, he like touches it. He did, like literally like less than five seconds. Knew instantly what it was. Called the hospital. He's like, we're, we're getting emergency surgery right away. But like, what did he feel wow. when he was touching it? It was just, he can feel like how hard it is. Oh, I, I guess you. like all the blood is stuck there. I got you. And uh, I'm like, it's not what I think it is. And he's like, yeah. I was like, Russ gave me that look. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that look with <laughs> Did Russ. Did you tell him, like, man, I was just joking about it. You know, I was in yeah. so much pain. I was like, bro, like, just make it go away. Yeah. You know it's bad when you get that look from the head trainer or something like that? They're like, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Or, no, when they talk, like, two of them. When they're like, talking to each other, uh-huh. And then it's, like, an extended conversation. Yeah. It's like, ah, so yeah, they, they, they just ignore you. They don't even yeah, tell you what's going on. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're, yeah. we're moving. I snapped my fibula in half on the field last year in practice, and they, the head trainer guy and the head doctor came up. I touched my leg like that for two seconds and looked up one other and went, <laughs> I was like, you going to tell me what's happening? They were like, yeah, we're just going to go get your bag. There's a car waiting for you out there. And then it's like what they tell mean? everyone else. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They tell you. You're just, you're just <laughs> laying there. Like, there like, what, what's going on? What happened? <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you didn't hear? <laughs> like, everyone you got, else. Your leg's broken. <laughs> <laughs> everyone else knows besides you. You're yeah. just sitting there.